Hello everyone. Hi guys. Uh, can you hear the rain that's hitting our home right now? I mean, it's, it's coming down. I don't know if you can hear it or not. Uh, but we're definitely getting the remnants or the bands, if you uh, will, from that storm that's way north of us. Yes. So uh, let's jump in uh, to the selfie challenge. So uh, first up is Nick and Juna from the UK. Now they've been married 27 years. They used to live uh, in the Philippines many years ago, moved back to the UK. Uh, and then uh, once uh, Nick retires, they'll be coming back uh, to the Philippines full time. So Nick and Juna from the UK. All right, next up is Joe and Mary Lou, uh, married 34 years from Henderson, Nevada. And they're coming out uh, this September, mm -hmm. and uh, they're going to pay us a visit. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, so we're looking yes. forward to meeting them. <laughs> so, Joe and Mary Lou from Henderson, Nevada, USA. All right, next up is Richard and Jenny. Uh, Richard is from Sacramento, California. And Jenny is here in Baguio, which is up in Luzon? Baguio, yes. Baguio? Yes. Up in the Luzon area. Uh, so uh, in the future, Richard looks to move to the Philippines and retire. Uh, so here you go, Richard and Jenny from Baguio and Sacramento, California, USA. All right, so when it comes to the selfie challenge, things are getting interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I have some family selfies. Yay. So we do three uh, a video, so I'm going to hold off on them. But guys, I can't wait uh, mm -hmm. to show. Uh, we got two family selfies, and uh, we're going to showcase them on our next <laughs> video. So I appreciate it very much. Hey guys, uh, think about it. If you would like to take a selfie with our uh, photo uh, from one of our videos in the background uh, on, on a TV or on a laptop or anything like that, uh, don't need to be a Filipino to participate. Just, just a subscriber, just a viewer. Uh, we're just having some fun with it. You know, you guys uh, see us every video. Mm -hmm. You know, we're kind of showing us, uh, showing you guys our life and how things are to retire in the Philippines, and it's all around uh, building this dream home for my wife, uh, but it's really about how we're navigating through all the uh, challenges here in the Philippines. Uh, so we like to uh, meet you guys. So I think the selfie challenge is a good way uh, for you guys to participate, and uh, everybody gets to see all the fine people that uh, watch our channel, and then for the most part, uh, most of the folks mm -hmm. that sent in photos are looking to retire just like Wilma and I to the Philippines uh, because you want a stress-free, easy-going life with a lower cost of living, right? It makes perfect sense. But again, it doesn't need to be uh, someone that's looking to retire to the Philippines. It could be just anyone who would like to participate. Yeah, who watch our video. Yeah. And so It's nice to see that you guys uh, send us the selfie and it's, you know, so now looking at your picture, we feel like we, now we get to know you more. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, so think about it. Take a selfie, send it to Facebook Messenger uh, to Building the Philippines. Just look us up, send the photo. Uh, make sure you do it in landscape uh, so it comes out on the uh, video uh, better. If you send it a uh, portrait, it's just I have to try to stretch it to fit the TV. Yes. Uh, and sometimes uh, it doesn't uh, do the picture justice. So uh, take the photo, um, the selfie, and landscape, and I will continue to have uh, fun with it. And also don't remember, and I do have one that I'll do uh, on a future video, is uh, if you built a home in the Philippines and you would like to take a photo, a couple photos, 
of uh, all the hard work that uh, you guys went through building your home. Uh, send it with a little information, your name, where it is in the Philippines, just some general information, and we'll showcase your home on the, on the channel as well. So I do have one that I got about a week ago, and I just haven't uh, put it up on the uh, video yet, trying to get through all the selfies, but it will be coming up soon. So that's two good ways uh, to uh, showcase uh, you guys, as well as all your hard efforts of building a home here in the Philippines on our channel. Uh, we're glad to do it. So uh, we're going to get out there and show you guys uh, the weather that we're dealing with right now. <laughs> It appears we're getting the very tail end of the uh, typhoon that is getting closer and closer to the Philippines up in the Luzon area. So we're just looking at the uh, weather and uh, it has turned from a low pressure uh, to a tropical depression uh, to now it's actually a typhoon. Now the good news is uh, it, it appears it's going to mist. It'll be east of Luzon as it goes up towards uh, Taiwan uh, but nonetheless Luzon since uh, they'll be close to the storm is going to get a ton of rain now we're getting the bands of rain since we're down here in southern Philippines we're just above Mindanao and we've been getting uh, basically squalls of rain uh, throughout the morning the wind kicked up a little bit last night uh, right now it's not too bad but you can see this is not just uh, a shower. You can tell the clouds look different from the, you know, the typical clouds up, rolls in, you get a 30 minute shower, then the sun comes out uh, like it's been here uh, throughout most of the rainy season. Uh, not today. You can definitely see that this is going to be probably a day or two of a constant rain. Now you can see the pool <clears throat> starting to fill up. Probably an inch and a half, maybe two inches from overflowing. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. But definitely a, a rainy day. Right now it's just steady rain. But, uh, you know, every 15, 20 minutes will be a band of rain. And it's coming the same way, coming from the west, which is typically the way it works when there's a typhoon to the north. Typhoons uh, <clears throat> come from the east. <clears throat> they come towards uh, Samar for the most part, the province of Samar. And then uh, they either come across Samar, uh, east to west, or they turn, which uh, typically they do, and then they go up towards uh, Manila or even uh, north of Manila, which is the province of Luzon. And then, uh, you know, hopefully it'll miss Luzon and go up towards Taiwan. Uh, like this storm well, but often Luzon uh, gets the brunt of these typhoons. And luckily, uh, we don't. Uh, the storms uh, will miss us. But I don't know if that's picking it up. Definitely see the clouds going from west uh, to east, which is basically that typhoon to the north, is pulling these bands of uh, bad weather uh, through us as it uh, pulls it up towards... Uh, northern Philippines. So I think we're going to hunker down today. Uh, we were planning on uh, hitting the three other solar establishments and having those uh, conversations uh, and then starting looking for some lawn furniture. Uh, we may delay that just because it looks like it's really going to be a miserable day. So we'll uh, we'll decide what we do and if we decide later on today to take a trek down to Dumaguete, uh, we'll bring you guys along. All right, so in between rain showers, uh, Wilma went down to check on the puppies. <laughs> so uh, give us all a full report. How's the puppies doing? Doing good, they're sleeping. They're sleeping? Yeah, they're dry. All right, nice and dry? Yes. Not getting any water? No. Okay, and the cardboard is dry that they're laying? Okay, good. All right, so that's the puppy report. Uh, Wilma was worried all morning and it was raining here so hard here the last hour or so and it's just lightening up just a little bit. You can see in the pool it's a steady rain and Wilma said I'm going to check on those puppies. Yeah. So that's good. They're sleeping away and uh, Sandy's there with them? 
she came out when I went and visited her. Oh, when you went and visited? Yeah, I'm going to go and feed her now. Okay, all right, yeah. sounds good. And guys, look, look at the, the paint job. Perfect, right? With all that uh, mystery stain. So I cleaned it up the best I could and uh, three coats of paint later and it's uh, looking uh, real, real good. So don't know what the mystery stain is, but it's, uh, it's resolved now. It's raining sideways. So it's definitely starting to intensify and can you hear it? The generator is running. We have a brownout. So uh, the weather has definitely taken a turn for the worse. The wind has kicked up and uh, you can definitely hear the noise of the generator. Boy, do we need to go out and get some solar. On days like today, you know, it makes you uh, lean towards solar more and more. Uh, but inside the house it's not bad but just don't know if you can see it but it's raining hard i mean it's it's coming down sideways you can see it on the pool definitely uh, a wet day and uh, you can hear how loud the generator is so let's take a step inside and then you'll hear how it gets definitely quieter and we're watching the uh, weather. I stopped, stopped it for this video. So look how big the storm is. Now this is uh, the Manila area right here. And this is all of Luzon. And you can see that it's heading this way towards Luzon, but it's supposed to turn and go north. And the eye of the storm actually missed Luzon. Now, we're way down here. This is the Leyte area. So this is where we used to live. This is Cebu. And then you go all the way down Cebu, and we're way down here. It's not even on the screen. So we live way down here. But you can see that uh, there's a lot of rain that's being pulled up into the storm. And that's uh, what we're experiencing. But it's a large storm. It's very, very large. So basically from Manila North is really going to get a ton of rain as this storm gets closer and then eventually turns and goes up. So just wanted to show that on our TV. Look at the weather. Outside it's 75 degrees and it's just new, right? 1210 and uh, it's 75 degrees outside in the Philippines and uh, 76 inside. You can see the humidity level at 85. So definitely raining hard. I mean, it's definitely coming down. So I don't think we're going anywhere today. We're just gonna hunker down and just ride this out. Eventually I'm gonna have to take uh, some water out of the pool as you can see it's about full I mean it's a half inch from overflowing so if we get say a day or two of this uh, without question uh, we're gonna have uh, the pool overflow so I'm gonna have to do some uh, backwashing down so I'll take care of that but just give you guys uh, an update of what's happening here in uh, Dallin Negros Oriental we're definitely feeling the remnants of that typhoon that's uh, hopefully heading away from the Philippines soon.